This morning I want to uh, talk a little bit about the efforts that the Bay Partners have had in reducing pollution. It's uh, obviously clear that the Bay can't be restored without clean water that is clear and rich in oxygen. Uh, currently the Bay and its rivers uh, receive way too much uh, pollution, specifically nitrogen and sediment and phosphorus uh, for the ecosystem to to uh, remain healthy. And the primary sources of pollution that we deal with are agricultural land, treated wastewater, um, urban and suburban stormwater runoff, and also air pollution. So to use uh, Rich's analogy, that we need to put the Chesapeake Bay on a pollution diet of uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sediment specifically if we're going to restore the estuary. Um, the indicators in this section are going to show um, some slow progress and, and uh, uh, and also a, a couple of areas where we're not progressing as much as we need to. Um, the states in the Chesapeake Bay watershed have developed a set of strategies. Each state has a different set of strategies depending on their specific uh, problems that they have to address. And the progress that we make in implementing those strategies is measured uh, with monitoring data and with computer simulations. Um, as you can see, the uh, partners have put in place measures that meet 47% uh, 47 percent of the identified measures have been put in place for nitrogen. 63% uh, of the measures identified for phosphorus are in place and 64% of the measures for sediment are in place. Um, let me talk a little bit about agriculture. Um, as you heard earlier, uh, agriculture is important because 25% of the land in the Chesapeake Bay watershed is uh, is agricultural. The pesticides and uh, fertilizers and manure that are used on the land that are so beneficial for the crops uh, w uh, as a result of uh, over irrigation and runoff from precipitation, uh, they become pollutants when they get into the waterways. And the Chesapeake Bay uh, partners are working with the farmers uh, to help control pollution. We have 8.5 million acres of farmlands in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. The kinds of measures that farmers are putting in place are uh, nutrient management plans, cover crops, vegetative buffers, conservation tillage, and animal manure and poultry litter controls. So what's the status? Um, the partners have achieved about 50 percent of the goal in agriculture for nitrogen control efforts. That's about a 2% increase from 2007. Uh, about 49% of our phosphorus goals in agriculture have been met. That's actually a 2% decline from the previous year. And uh, we have achieved about 48% of the goal for sediment pollution control efforts in agriculture. That's about the same as 2007. These are pictures of some of the practices. Uh, the estimates that I just uh, gave you do not account for best management practices that have been installed uh, voluntarily by private landowners uh, that have not used public funds to do so. Talk a little bit about preserving land. Uh, land is uh, real important to the Chesapeake Bay watershed. It's a finite and fragile resource and what happens on the land has an enormous impact on the local waterways. We have north of 60,000 square miles of land for this watershed. Everything that happens in the watershed has an impact on the Chesapeake Bay. Population growth and construction, uh, increase of impervious sur uh, uh, surfaces uh, has really increased the need to preserve our forests and, um, and our open spaces. Parks, wildlife refuges, and other preserved lands provide habitat for animals and they also uh, provide uh, an opportunity for pollution to be filtered before it reaches the bay and its tributaries. The Chesapeake Bay Partners have pursued land preservation in a number of ways by um, buying property, accepting donations, arranging for easements, and also purchasing development rights. Uh, the status is that, that uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and the District of Columbia committed to permanently protecting 20 percent of their Chesapeake Bay watershed, um, which was, is uh, 34 million acres. Uh, we committed to preserving 20 percent by 2010. 
last year. Um, over 115,000 acres were preserved, uh, which brings the total to 7.32 million acres in those jurisdictions, and that surpasses uh, the goal two, more than two years ahead of time. Uh, so we have set a new goal to, um, uh, to preserve an additional 695,000 acres of forested land in the watershed through 2020. Um, so we've made some progress in some areas, and we still have a long way to go. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to, to George Hawkins now to talk to you a little bit about how you can help. 